Hey guys, what's up? Nakshon here. Create videos about self-development and movement. So if you're into that, you're welcome to subscribe and stuff. Today, I want to react to Kevin Samuels. He like completely popped up a few months ago and, and went viral because he started talking against modern women and how dating should really be. And he's pushing against a lot of uh, pro progressives, I think, progressive ideals. And he's trying to show that like, um, being a conservative in that department of dating is actually good, which I agree with up to a point, I think. Today I want to react to one of his most famous videos where he talks about we are educated and make money, but why do we need men? Which is, I think, a question that some modern women ask themselves. I want to react to it. I feel like there are some things I won't agree with and some things I will. And I want to share my opinion and see see how it goes. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Ooh, R and B vibes, very calm. So, what's your disagreement? My oh, it's, disagreement. Oh, so it's it's. I, th I guess it's part of his live. Like he does some lives, I think, and this is just a recording of it. Already, I like the vibe. I I just like the the how calm it is. It seems like it's well mannered and polite and stuff. So, um, I think that's already pretty good. So yeah. It's just basically about the fact that. Black women shouldn't have to feel obligated to smile to black men. We're holding a lot of trauma. We're holding a lot of problems, how mental you, health issues. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How old are you? 24. She just started with a lot of excuses, which I already don't like. I don't like people saying, why should we do that and that? And because of like the world is the way it is and you have to face with like you have to face it can you try to change it sure but not by complaining i guess if you're only complaining why it's like that i just don't like this energy if you want to change something then try to figure out what the problem really is and go change it but don't just complain um i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this one more time i need you to pay attention i need all black women to pay attention Ooh. The world does not owe you understanding or me understanding. True. If you have all this trauma, go seek professional hey. help. Because the rest of us do not have to suffer you. Okay, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> like she didn't even say anything and he's already like, he's already like, getting things off his chest like it seems a bit over the top like suffer you i don't know she she didn't seem that annoying yet um but maybe he talked to her before something i don't know that's a pretty harsh reaction to maybe not the best question but like that's a pretty harsh reaction okay it's easy to tell black women is, and black people do you not in the black who, community who, no, to get help responsibility is it to get the help they need but it's not available readily to our community. That is that bullshit. Who's With the response? Wealth gap growing, how many Who's people why is he so like impatient? Why why isn't he like listening to her? Like it seems like she doesn't even get to say almost anything, and he just like talks over her. Responsibility is it to get the mental help they need? It's the women. Like every, it, Who? it's it's not about women or men, right? It's about the person, like. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself or your parents if you're really young, but otherwise it's it's just yours. It is ultimately the responsibility of us to get the mental health that we need, but I'm letting you know that the we are very underserved. You can't make this stuff up. You, you So you say we're underserved. You got to tell me that the, the therapists that are already exist are overloaded. We don't go get help, ma'am. Mm. You just had a therapist on here before. I talked to psychiatrists and I, first of all, you understand who you're talking to? I know hundreds of, anyway. Why is he what so do black mad? people tend to deal with? How do black people tend, black? Maybe he seems like very impatient and I'm guessing it's because like he has very, a lot of repetitive questions from women, it seems like. And they ask the same thing and with the same energy or something because he reacts like so extremely to any small question she asks. So I don't know the context so much, but it, it bothers me a bit that he's like so aggressive, I guess. 
but it's not like his message is wrong so far. So black women tend to deal with their mental health issues with a licensed clinician or with Jesus. Okay. That is what's pushed to us since no, no, from no, the no, age of no. your little. No, no, ma'am. I asked, I, no, I asked who? No, see, I asked who they see. We're not gonna play I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play the lily pad game. Did they go to a clinician or did they go to the church? The church most often. All right, and these are educated these most of these, these women are educated and they've heard about their they make the choice not to go. Mm. No different than I'm gonna switch it up. No different than women understanding here that being 200 pounds and five foot tall is unhealthy. Okay. But yet 80% of our women are overweight and 80% of that is obese. They know the truth. Oh, is he? They choose and to the do something. Is this statistic true about like black, specifically about black women? Like, I don't know these statistics, but okay. Yes. The narrative pushed to us most often is that a guy wants a woman with a big ass. He wants you know, a thick lady. Accountability. We, we yeah. Accountability is kryptonite to modern women. Ma'am, I, I, you, you say the traumas, if I accept them, then you got to do something about them. Because yeah. what about the traumas that the black man has to deal with? But we still have to get out here and be functioning people in society, contributing. Mm. You don't get to walk and around if, and say, you don't get to walk around and say, have a special victim status. I'm not saying we should have a special victim status, but our circumstance is different. I don't know. It kind of sounds like you do. We are women. We, uh, is your, you know, is your we are okay. less You're 24 life. years old. Is your, circum is your circumstance harder or easier than your grandmother and your great-grandmother? Mm, that's a good question. Exponentially easier. We have right. access yeah, to information great. we didn't Exponentially have. Exponentially easier, but you're handling it worse. Your grandmother, your great-grandmother actually could work with a black man with more trauma because they understood that the black woman and the black man are on the same side. Now that we are all free and independent and to, we could do whatever we want to, why would we seek to, you know, be one with the black man? We, we even you. think that being- Thank Okay, so that was an interesting, what she said was very interesting that people get united because they have a common enemy or a problem that they want to, to solve, but but now, since they don't have that problem so much, and it's not like I really know everything in the US about like how it is to be a black. Obviously, I'm not. Like, I don't really know. I'm not. I'm obviously generalizing and going off on to, like on top of what she said. But when you get to that point, it's it's yeah, it's it's natural to ask yourself like why why am I with these people? That's a good good question. But like, I feel like there's a bit of a sassiness like in this question of like why should we deal with hard things in life sort of which is just because life that's just the way life is i don't know thank you thank you thank you clip it slice it put it on world star she said it not me now that you're independent you don't, don't need to be with trust. there you go there you go and there and there you go and there you go there you go black man there it is she's finally finally got one to say it Build your businesses with your, us. Your grandmothers, us your grandmothers and your grandmothers and your great grandmothers had more trauma and more stress and did it better. They have exponentially less and they're handling it worse. But it's because they're free and can do what the hell they want to. They'll need to be with you. So you don't need to feel any guilt for taking care of you, for putting yourself first and making your passion, your purpose, okay. your priority. You don't need to feel guilty because this 24 year old woman just said it. They have no, they don't feel any guilt about it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that was a weird conversation in a way. Like she, I feel like there wasn't any chance given to her to really speak. Like I get that what she said wasn't very, very smart in terms of like, um, why should we deal with men and 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 have and have some troubles in our lives and, and deal with them and the answer is obviously because that's just the way life is and it's just not fair and not easy and you have to deal with stuff if you want to succeed and and fulfill your dreams and enjoy your life you know it's just just the way it is but it seems like he he's super charged like but I don't really know the context, right? Like he might have he might have been super pissed because a lot of a lot of other women he interviewed 
on that live were like super annoying to him i don't really know but it seems like he just came into this conversation like very very charged like he has to prove something really really hard and i don't get that i just don't i don't like if you really have a message you want to to convey then give the other person a chance to to say even if you think they're wrong it's also it's important for two reasons one because maybe the person in front of you isn't really disagreeing with you and if you will let them speak maybe they're actually on the same side as you and you might even save yourself some time and energy and two is that as a viewer it just makes me feel like he's like very anti her and like he's super trying to prove something and is super like aggressive about it which i don't get like maybe his message is right you know and I do feel like what he said so far is right. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself in life, whether you're a man or a woman or whatever. And I do, I do see him talking about how women have become more free in the last few decades. I mean, just the way it is. And because of that, there, maybe some of them are getting sassy and and arrogant about it and they're, they're starting to question why they need men or something and then he wants to put them in the place but even if you do want to put them in the place like even if your message is right the way you say it really matters in terms of do you actually want to affect people do you want to create a change or do you want to just get views it just seems like a very not very efficient way to convince someone that they're wrong or to show them a different path or opinion like the second you're very very aggressive from the beginning you'll probably just make an enemy like even if you're right the person in front of you will will try to defend themselves and and they won't really listen and it seems like that's what what's happening here it doesn't seem like there's any really communication between them i don't know whatever um I sort of agree with what he said. I disagree with the way he said it, I feel like. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you watch him a lot? Do you agree with him all the time? Are there any parts where you don't really agree with him? I would love to hear it. And what are your thoughts about the way he conveys his message and about specifically this video? I would love to hear it. If you're into self-development and like to grow as a person and maybe you even want to to learn how to move your body better you're welcome to subscribe to the channel and like this video it would really help me to grow this channel which is sort of like why i'm doing this <laughs> i want to grow a really cool community of people who talk about self-development and how to connect to yourself within your body and with your mind so if you're it would really help me to to grow this channel anyway so um thank you for that anyway <laughs> have a good day good luck and uh peace